Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Dicey Dungeons. Let's continue. And basically, all I'm gonna do is Loser Weepers again. Um, I nearly won this last recording. It's time to welcome back the Treacherous Wretch of Adjuster. Join me in quietly watching the rapid and inevitable failure. Uh, this is an interesting twist on the rules in that you take all the equipment from the enemy and then you try to uh, build a deck by permanently deleting things that aren't worth it. But it does have this kind of unique twist in that you spend a lot of time preparing so first thing you want to get rid of is all the boops in this first fight if you can Or more likely you'll get about half the boops deleted. And then they'll steal their equipment. And like every other run, it is very much just time management, so it's just how much time I should you spend in each fight. Significantly in this case too, there's there's a situation where Whatever the random enemies on the floor are, are going to determine what items you get throughout the runs. And inevitably you're hi highly likely to get the uh, the wizard, and the wizard's going to have some pretty awful cards that you'll want to immediately delete. Anything that's even an odd is also a consideration as far as just something that you would maybe want to get rid of. There is also a secondary desire here to upgrade the things you're going to keep. Hmm. Because that can be slightly helpful too. If you can get anything that will give you a dice back, that will be helpful also. You have to be careful to watch your uh, let's see. Watch your health also. See in that instance, now I'm in a pretty bad position with half of my health gone for this wizard fight. Okay. Three shield probably isn't a terrible thought. This amount of damage probably isn't a terrible thought. And oops, can't do that one, so we'll do that. Now if I can freeze his dice on to deal 5 damage and freeze 2 dice, I'm not sure I even want to pull that maneuver out. If you could freeze your own dice and then have spells that activated when you freeze the dice, there might be something around that idea. Hmm. 
Yeah. So that just gives him a one. So he does five damage and freezes the dice. Four damage there. Two heal there. Three damage there. And in that fight, I didn't get to really delete any cards, and now I have six new cards and a duplicate card. That's asking a lot. And I kind of want the cauldron more than I want to destroy cards. Honestly, getting good cards this way with money and then destroying cards while playing is more efficient. Assuming I can pull it off. Right, so we do that. Then we do that. Then we do that. And in the turn. I can take it a little slow. this two, duplicate this four, play this one, yeah I won't get any further with this though so unless I was going to activate my spell here and see if that would have done anything for me which it didn't, I'm just gonna win. that's fine. We'll take this health and move on to the next level. Either direction is fine. The bully is a level three with a rock throwing. Duplicate the five. Do one damage. Store two health at the moment. Maybe not so necessary. Get rid of flame spell. Get rid of dodge next attack. put one into deleting not the rosewood spear but the whole mirrors all of those cards would potentially be very useful in other scenarios but they're definitely not appreciated here in, in this scenario now if I end up with rocks that does a certain amount of damage once per battle, then I definitely have a question on that. Let's get rid of poison slingshot, that's just not good enough. We'll activate our magic trick. We still have time, so we'll try and get rid of the free spell, too. Okay. Oh, hello again. Want to know why my dungeon shop is so successful? The overhead's really low. Uh -huh. Okay. Hammer might be one to consider grabbing. 
and taking on the fireman now and getting the item and then taking on the stereo head guy later I think is probably the smarter move just have to be kind of careful 4 damage, 2 thorns fists do 3 damage and then 3 damage and then the turn and I guess the question really will come down to should I give it a small shield yeah you're gonna have so many cards anyways damage that way three damage that way let's try to get rid of the poison spell in the turn it's gonna start doing major damage and burning dice though We'll take two damage and just win. I don't want to press it too far and potentially lose. Hmm. Bump. Add the dice. Add to the dice value. Hmm. I think you can add that to your deck. Fine. I think that's that's going to be okay. It's something you could always use, even on six. Even to do this. Five damage here. Bump this. That. This. In the turn. Hmm. And yeah, I guess this would just come down to do I want to give it a fist? I guess we can't get rid of fist. Just delete that. That's fine. We don't want to get rid of fireball though, because it's doing fire damage. And do we want lightning damage? So we're just kind of focusing on trying to have attacks that do elemental damage not that that's gonna end up being super useful but it, it'll be somewhat useful okay. freezing one dice Almost certainly is a smart move. Four damage to thorns. Weaken three damage weaken an enemy. And then rocks I think are just good to keep. So and I guess I could re-roll on all of this. Just to see if maybe there was something here we wanted to get rid of. Next turn, I guess. Alright. 
so you do this, it gives you new dice. You do this, it gives you new dice. You bump that, it gives you six. You bump that, then you can do six damage this turn. I can do six damage this turn again and win. And that's the right move. Just be at full health and move forward. And then I guess I'll take on the Rhino Beetle next. And then that we'll have the upgrade ready for us. Oops, that was not the card I wanted to select, but whatever. That worked out well. I do want to be somewhat careful not to to totally lose here or take a bunch of damage. I could see maybe getting rid of the slime ball. Bump this, get rid of the slime ball. It may very well be a case too that I just have so many cards now that that I'm not going to see the cards that I want to get rid of anyways. Right. Five damage. Two damage by one dice. Heal. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. Let's do magic trick instead. Duplicate a five. I can see getting rid of sinkhole. Let's see. Yeah, let's end this turn and see if we can get an opportunity to get rid of Sinkhole. That I may not actually be able to do that. No, I wouldn't have ever been able to do that. That was dumb. I should have just ended. Should have won the last turn. Let's see. Fee five fo fice. I smell the blood of a walking dice. That's. We're getting repetitive again. Let's take that health. Yes, one more fight would potentially let us upgrade a card. So we just need to survive this fight, which there's a decent chance on that. Okay. So roll that roll that get rid of that and get rid of this there we go nine damage and burning two dice Plus, potentially doing another six da damage. One damage freeze. I guess duplicate that. Do that. Do that. There you go, and I guess we'll get rid of Slime Ball. Hmm. 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 
I still don't want to stick around in this fight too much, though. Let's see. Even, even, even. Well, I don't want to burn the fireballs and delete the fireballs, but I may have to. Yeah. Magic trick to re-roll. Eight damage here. Three damage here. And then we should just win by doing that. And we can do that if we want to. Hmm, being a wicker man isn't working for me. Maybe I'll try being the wicker golden retriever instead. Upgrade a card. Battle axe doubling is a thought. Two bumps per turn, maybe something. First I want to do cauldron though, as an upgrade. Then I want to think about, let's see what else. Always shocking an enemy on Hammer Plus very possibly is way better. Hmm. Yeah. Hammer Plus always shocks an enemy versus only shocks on a six. <laughs> Okay. And then upgrade one more card, which may be Battle Axe, or maybe Bump. Hmm. I guess we'll go with Bump. <laughs> We have one more floor before the boss. Hmm. And then we have copying equipment. Okay, well what what you're gonna wanna do here is go this way for the Kraken and the Rat King and then take on the snowman. Well wow. Let's just go this way. This is probably a mistake. And I don't think you have a lot of time now to goof around. So... Like... Bump this to an even number. And... Do that. this to an even number and do that and heal to convert to a shield and then the turn yep. the layout of this floor is particularly challenging in that at some point you are going to have to fight uh, two people in a row hmm. if he's just gonna freeze all my dice down the ones that's going to cause trouble. One damage. 
duplicated dice. Needs to be four or more. So magic trick. Four. See, in this case, maybe I could get rid of the wicker staff, but I'd have to be fairly careful. Now, the next thing we fight is a skeleton, so it's possible I can defeat the skeleton before actually dying or taking any damage. That's all I can really do. Hmm. Okay. So I do this one and then this one. Delete the wicker staff. And then we can win playing any of these. <laughs> It is going to be a long time though before we get any health back. So I have to just hope that this wicked this skeleton cannot attack me at all. Which I don't know why I would think he couldn't. Okay, do this. this. Freeze a dice. It's probably not a terrible thought. And then four damage. If I had one more dice I could shock the enemy. Okay. So he's gonna do six damage to me. Kind of feels like you're doomed. Particularly with these dice rolls. So. Freeze a dice. Burn a dice. Burn another dice. Heal two, which probably isn't enough to save you. Maybe I could have weakened. Hmm. So once again, we are really at the whims of Lady Luck or randomization. Uh, and here's today's contestants who I uh, guess we've met before, but who even knows? <laughs> such an unmemorable little face, such horrible grabby hands. It still doesn't feel like there's a strategy here that would be around, like, not... Like, not doing every fight, not taking every opportunity to to destroy as many of the bad cards as possible. I might be wrong about getting rid of the boops and keeping the bops. It might very well be a case where I should be getting rid of both the boops and the bops. for two to get two back. Ok. 
well. And at that point, I would have to win. And yeah, I'm totally never concerned that I would lose on the first fight. Even the first couple of floors, you, you kind of have a high chance of victory. And there's not really anything here. So, yeah, let's just do this and win. I assume the cards you play in a previous turn end up getting added to to the deck the next turn. Right. This is the right choice, obviously, because it unlocks a second apple. Do that. Do that. Repeating the next action. I don't know how you could repeat the next action to get 40 damage. That would be my thought as far as how you do that. You'd have to have a special limit break that repeated the next action after you already said repeat the next action, then do 10 damage. Um, then you could do 40 or more. Um, but there's only a couple of scenarios where that, that would be the case. Two damage there. And then just throw those into that. And I guess this time I want to keep the Sonic Waves because that does kind of make some sense. Um, because it does rock damage. probably should just also win this turn. Otherwise I'm gonna take too much damage. Take that. Take that. Fight the Dryad. We are potentially going to also have to just skip ahead after this too. Like if I, at the end of this episode, have not succeeded at doing this episode, then we need to try something different and potentially this may be the first sign of just maxing out and plateauing as far as how far I can actually get in this game because even playing on relaxed mode it seems like there's a level of difficulty on this that's high Wolf Puppy Bite do 4 damage. That's not terrible as an action. They're definitely worse things. Let's see. Do that. Do that. I'll do Magic Trick now. Doesn't matter what I choose, I'm gonna win, so just win. Full health refill. Duplicate. Next fight. Weaken. Six to do four damage. Six damage there.
in the turn. Okay. So duplicate this five. Do that much. Do that much and win. Get a bunch more cards. Nudge a dice value down to one. Hmm. You know what? I'll take it. It's probably not the best card ever, but why not? And it makes all the sense in the world to take on the wizard first. Since he'll give me a bunch of spells. Let's see. Duplicate. It's five. Do this. Get rid of this. Don't have an even number. So unless I wanted to get rid of the fireball, which I don't. I have to just end the turn here. That's unfortunate. Hmm. Okay. Six damage burn one dice this time. And get rid of that and that. Then in the turn. No good. So we'll do magic trick. Just the heal. We can do that. We can do that. I could see myself getting rid of Nudge, anyways. This is absolutely the worst case scenario though, where you would have the wizard getting more and more dice and thus proving himself more and more likely to, to be able to manipulate things against you. Okay, well, I'm tired of doing this, so I'm not even going to bother to try with the next scenario, uh, with that scenario. Let's get a feel for what the elimination rounds are. Enemies are 10% extra health and upgraded. We are playing on the lax mode. Thanks for joining for another round of Dicey Dungeons. Tonight, let's give a big round for, of cruelly mocking laughter for our miserable contestant. She's not even naming the contestants. So we're just playing like normal warrior character. But our items aren't upgraded, their items are. Our health starts off at 24, the Robobot is at 9. Because you're not stealing the items though, you're not going to benefit from the upgraded enemy weapons. At least not for the warrior. There's no reason to use a fury at the moment, so... Just attack. And the staff here is not upgraded. So this does just seem absolutely 
like this is a case of it being more difficult without there being any new twist to it at all. Alright. You could use a Fury now and do 8 damage. And that's probably the best bet. And then put 2 into the staff. Them. Why not? Not too much change there. The first move would be to take on the pirate. Five. Well, let's start with re rolling this. Six. Then re roll this. This pirate hook and cannon fire upgraded. Hmm. It definitely feels like there's a high chance of failure that's just not really even your fault. Because you totally could run into an enemy that just gets good dice rolls, has has a really upgraded attack. Okay. Bump this to a six. And fury and do twelve damage. Then hmm. re-roll this to a five, that gets you to an eight. So, probably not even really worth re-rolling anymore. And since this is a scenario where you are just back to basics, you... There, that's all we needed. You can once again just focus on attacking and your health. There's only room for one cute monster in this dungeon, and it's Maha Marshmallow. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Boomerang would potentially hurt yourself. If we could get a lot of health, I would potentially think about getting the Boomerang to then get, like, Fury uh, back and do Fury a second time. But that's a very dangerous concept. Cost of things is not really going up. Broadsword. And these aren't upgraded either. Dagger do does that much damage. Hmm. I like broadsword. So we just will replace staff with that. And now we have sword and broadsword and bump or spike shield. Taking on the Alchemist, I think, for the second time. Right, five would be five shield. So, we roll three. See if we can get something better. Nope. So, five damage, three damage, one shield. Upgraded potions for this character. So, 8 damage. 
and then another 5 damage, and then some poison damage. Okay. So there's no logic in continuing to play, so we should just win. Okay. There still is only six floors, so that tells us something. Hmm. Let's see. Eight damage there. Four damage here. And then we can just re-roll for like a six to do six damage there. I guess I could have potentially re-rolled to try and see something else. If he gets a double on a sneeze plus it reduces the cooldowns to zero. So a sneeze plus on a nightmare would be like an instant victory. If you could cheat that way. If you could have a Sneeze Plus, a Nightmare, and a Duplicate all in your build. Yeah. Let's see. Sword Plus, Broadsword, or Spike Shield reducing its requirement. Or Bump. Two uses. I'm gonna think about it, certainly. Matchstick to burn one dice. Probably not healing crystals. Yeah, there is an argument for it. But it's... It's gonna be an early game experience, too. Or a later game experience. Five shield. Start by rolling this. Four damage. Darn it. Hmm. Hmm. Spanner, pea shooter upgraded. Hammer, he's gonna shock me each turn. a massive amount of damage. Okay, four damage plus seven damage. Will work because I have fury, but only because I have fury. dice, spatula, hmm. okay, we roll this for six, good, we roll this, and we roll this, four damage here, six here, Five here, and at this point, it would probably make sense to have an extra item. So you really can't have three double wide items in your build. Otherwise, almost every turn you're going to not use one dice, and one less opportunity is almost certainly going to lead to you failing miserably. Okay. 
healing crystals. Get rid of the spike shield. Bump. Healing crystals. Or bump twice. Bump twice being upgraded makes a lot of sense. Now I don't have enough to replace them. Say the sword with something. If I could get another broadsword, that'd be nice. You still have major problems here, too, though. Like, this is just gonna get more and more difficult as we go further and further down this line. So, bump that for a six. Do that. Start by recovering free health every turn. Let me roll. Bump that. And I still have one dice extra. If I doubled my healing, I'd get 6 health. Would I win this turn that way? I think not. So I'm gonna do 3 health, Fury, and then do 16 damage here. Spike shield for the shovel. Sure. I'll do that trade. Take the health. Fight. Fight the wicker man. Okay. So re roll this. That gets us a six. So we'll start with that. Reroll this, reroll this, get three health back, and then bump this, bump this, and do six damage. It, bump it, play it in the turn. I am just taking way too much damage though. Plus, we need a reroll first. All right. So, seven plus four would be eleven. So, I want to burn this, fury this, heal twice, do this. I guess I could have bumped. So I was probably in a safe spot before and didn't need to reroll. Claw, do that damage and add one poison. Are we at a point where that would make sense? Max three. No, I don't think we are. Let's 
So we survived this fight, we get it to the next floor, then we gotta struggle on the next floor. Obviously. Let's do that. Bump that. With the reroll dice action, I really shouldn't have the bump here. I should instead opt to do uh, the claw. That makes more sense. Reroll that. Reroll that. Reroll that. Okay. Two was not what I was gonna do, but whatever. Bump that. Bump that. So we can win, so then just bump here, get 3 health, and then we can bump here even though it's not necessary. I love a good snowball fight that, and that really was pretty good. Want to stick around and make snow angels? They've really run out of side dialogue. Upgrade equipment by far. Cover four healing crystals or do three damage. I'll do the healing crystals. I should have considered upgrading the claw, but I'm not sure I'm gonna stick with it. Okay. Big challenge here. Potentially I could skip a fight. But I'm not sure I would want to do that. And then the boss fight is really what we're setting up for. So. Let's see. We roll that. We roll that. We roll that. And I don't need to recover or reduce poison, so doing that won't do anything. Hmm. I could limit break at this point. Let me break and do 16 damage plus this much damage, 5 damage, which would be 21, I think that is our best bet. That worked out pretty well. Now if we were going to upgrade anything, it would be maybe the claw. Which going from a max 3 to a max 5 actually is a pretty big upgrade so I'm just going to take it. And yes that's risky but whatever. And then I guess the question, we have a lot of money, so going to the shop first probably makes sense. Unless we were just never going to go to the shop. Which, that was unlikely to be the case. Okay. So... 4 damage, 
three damage. Three damage. He's already poisoned now because of the claw. Me recovering one health doesn't reduce any poison on me or increase any poison on him. And having extra dice, having four dice here, if they're gonna lock two of them, could certainly play a role. Definitely feels like I'm gonna have to heal every turn, though. And that time he only locked two dice. I'll just heal for three instead of re-rolling, even though there is a possibility there that something else could have happened. That was a lot of damage. should try and win here. Hmm. Let's see. A three would win for us. Let's see. You gotta do this to heal, then activate Fury, and then do this to win. What this potentially is going to do is ask us to spend money on our health instead of potentially upgrading something, which I would like another thing so I could get maybe bumped back, but I don't know what that other thing would be. We have seven, so... We can't afford to buy the health anyways, so we, we should buy it. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We do 8 damage here. We'll do 6 damage there. Then we'll just reroll to see if we can... Maybe get a five. Alright, oh, four damage here. Three damage here. That cut his health in half. Of course, if we can blind four dice, that's gonna kinda suck. And three uses of overwhelm is definitely gonna suck. Every even dice is gonna do. An increasing amount of damage. Okay, so our best bet is to start with a small number and just see what happens. That's basically all we could have done as far as strategies. If we had found one that said it, it doesn't work because the number's too high, we would have used that in a different slip bot, but... Since that's not happening... We'll just have to play. Our health is at maximum, that's good. There wasn't even really a reason to heal at that point, but I did it out of habit. Pea shooter, deal two damage for five. Well, pea shooter is definitely not the equipment I would want to replace sword with. 
just so I could then get a bump increase. So hopefully I can get another um, attack. If not, then I guess whatever. We just have to live with what we've got. Nine damage for every even and an, a locked dice for every odd. Well, that doesn't seem particularly fair. Let's see. Sixteen damage there and five damage there. got an extra dice we don't need to eat this we have five things we could purchase lightning rod needs doubles take take damage to charge hmm It's an interesting thought. Let's let's try it. I put the lightning rod where the sword is. It gets charged as I take damage. And I didn't activate fury to do double the amount of damage on it. Particularly in this boss fight. Nope, we don't have that as an option now. Instead, we end up with a wooden stake. Which, okay. Well, then we cannot play with Lightning Rod. We can, however, bring back the Bump Plus. There's no plus on the wooden stake. So it seems like there's a decent chance that we'll lose here just because he'll have everything um, have everything upgraded. I can smell something. Have you been eating garlic? Doesn't count if you win and you've been eating garlic. So he's got like 50 damage and 15 small cloud plus to inflict 4 blind and 4 poison and then blood suck plus to drain health. Gotta do this, and then let's just start re-rolling the lowest dice we have. Okay, then bump this to do five, and then bump this. That's not too bad, really. It's just the four poison and the four blind that's gonna suck. Okay. Okay. Playing this blindly eliminates the value of your rerolls. Hmm. Obviously. More poison, more blindness. I guess the good news is we could just say reroll that to something higher. To that. Hmm. 
Okay. So it looks like we could probably win next turn pretty easily. As long as we don't lose this next turn. There we go. And now that we can actually see what we're doing, that's going to make for a much better turn of events. Okay. Bump this up. Do five damage. Bump this up to the fury and do fourteen damage. And then two, four, six, and we won. So, elimination round's not that bad. Oh look, you've won yet another episode. Congratulations. I assume this is still going to be rigged. Oh, but oh no, how unexpected. I've spun the wheel and it doesn't look like you're taking normal prize this time. We completed any elimination round, which unlocks Sneezy. Favorite food, I try eating local honey, but it, it's meant to be good for allergies. But there's only one bee in the dungeon, so it's not much honey to go around. Um, I guess that would be the boss bee character. Childhood pet, I had so many pets, I wasn't allergic to any of them. Uh, reason for entering the dungeon, the sunburn. I sunburned so easily that my nickname used to be Bernie. I thought coming in here would be great. I thought it would keep me out of the sun. Okay, so bonus round is you start with standard rules and then you descend further and get extra rules which who knows what whether those rules are set in stone or whether they're randomized each time. I would kind of hope that they would be randomized each time because it would be your last option to actually have a reason to come back and play this game uh, six months later, a year later, two years later, once you've done everything once. Um, this whole win-loss ratio counter kind of highlights the, the weirdness on the idea of potentially wanting to do it a second time. I really wouldn't want to. And if I did, I'd just start a new save file anyways. I wouldn't, wouldn't continue on the same one. Uh, I guess I'm just not the type of person that cares about stats. Well, the good news here certainly is with that victory, there is more hope now that we'll make some progress. Um, but I still am going to have to at some point try Losers Reapers again. Although at a certain point it also would just make sense to move on to the thief next episode and then just do the elimination round with each of these characters including the jester and then come back to the loser weepers challenge uh, as far as challenges go uh, there is things here that we have a decent chance of getting everything done and just unlocking it and then there is still a lot of things here that have not even begun to make any sense as it's just very unlikely you would stack 30 to poison or lock all the enemies die so use the same gadget three times on turn and we still don't know what an egg is we still have yet to see any way in which you could have a max health of 64 or higher maybe the bonus rounds would unlock that we haven't seen any dragons or dragon's teeth or and we haven't seen become a furry dice nor have we seen any indication that we would defeat lady luck and i have to assume that these challenges that we're doing now in the main game don't particularly connect at all to the bonus levels in the dlc 
on the, that you can switch to in the main menu and that would kind of make some sense because we have like 36 achievements and it doesn't quite feel like there would be 36 achievements uh, or challenges connected to 36 achievements all right well that's going to be it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a whole bunch of links down below and if you want to support me further there's a link to patreon or you can friend me on steam and get me a game off my wish list thank you for watching have a good evening